This is part one of a new series and I wanted to introduce it to you today and talk to you about what I plan on modeling and texturing for this, this new series. Uh, don't get excited, <laughs> you're looking at uh, an incredible, incredibly modeled, textured and lit scene from Uncharted. And uh, what I'm actually going to be focusing on is this right here. Uh, I'm going to call this the Uncharted Bell Tower. It's a small tower. It's not the big bell tower. All right. And it's a little hard to see here. And so what I've done is I have created another image where it's a lot brighter so that we can actually sort of see the parts of this. All right. So um, it's going to take a number of videos to model and texture and render this but it's something that I haven't really done before and I thought it would be interesting to try and my kids are playing Uncharted and they're getting me into it and um, we're having a lot of fun with that. So let's just have a little look at what we're in for. We've got this sloping roof. It's not curved, which is a little helpful. Um, it looks to me a little bit like some of this is geometry, but there's a very good chance that this is all textured uh, with some displacement. And so I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing it. I, I, um, this would be an ideal case for using uh, Substance Designer for some of this texture, um, but we will see. But probably what we would do is we would start off with just creating this sort of uh, pyramid-like roof just with so, like solid uh, you know plain type thing and then we've got another piece right here and it looks like there's a little indent in here and what i was thinking i would do and what we're going to end up doing what i end up doing is not going to be exactly the same but i was thinking i could put a pattern on here like i've done in the bookcase series and like i did in the ancient wisdom series as well so uh, we would probably make this out of like a concrete kind of material, maybe wood, maybe this whole thing would be wood sitting on concrete, I'm not sure, but I could do a pattern in there. And then we've got a little indent here and these things sticking up, which almost look like extensions from here and might be, I'd have to zoom in a bit more and take a look, it kind of does look like this outer piece extends up through here. So possibly this is all wood the more I think about it. I, I'm going to have to think about that. But anyhow, then we come down to this level here and we've got this curve. So we could certainly use a half circle for that and extend it out like that. And that's repeated all the way around the sides. And we've got this piece that comes down. So it's kind of like this is one piece here coming down and then repeated there. We've got that central piece. And then we've also got on here, we've got this sort of concrete block and this pillar that attaches there and there. So there are some aspects of this that aren't too difficult to do. Um, inside there's a bell, as you can see, maybe a little bit better there. We don't have to do any of the mechanism for holding it up. Uh, we just have to have the bell there. So we could do that. And as we come down, we've got, say, another piece of concrete here. It looks like there might be a little bit of a, a, a dip down to the floor there. So we'll figure out where that is. And then we come down, we've got like a cube here. And we've got some of these angled pieces there to do coming down. Here's another area where we could do a, a pattern perhaps on the, on the concrete or whatever that material is down to the bottom which is a little bit of beveling and, and this and that so um, some of this is going to be challenging I think in particular the roof might be a little bit difficult to do to get some kind of texture that looks something like that sort of like a, a clay or terracotta kind of roof um, uh, sloping down and maybe coming out a little bit flatter or on a slightly different angle so I think we're going to have a little bit of a challenge here but I think we could handle the wood and, and a design. And once we get a good sense of, of what all the parts are, because sometimes in when you only have one or two reference images and you can't see all sides, it's, it's difficult to see what they've done. And I can zoom in here and you can see how, how blurry it gets. But, you know, if we wanted to make this, this pillar, for example, we'd have to take some 
artistic license uh, and, and do our own version of this because it's hard to see. So, But that is what I intend to do over the next series, the Uncharted Bell Tower, as I'm calling it. So if you're interested in this, uh, then hopefully you will tune in for the series and we'll have some fun modeling this and hopefully we'll get a nice, a nice image out of it. Uh, nothing like this, but, you know, we do what we can. All right. So tune in soon for part two, where we start to block this out. Thanks very much. And we'll see you soon.